If you've noticed Prince George getting colorful lately, you're not alone. This medley of yarn is actually an art installment. The Two Rivers Gallery has been recruiting people for the newly formed Yarn Bomb Squad and is looking forward to showing the city what exactly yarn bombing is. So usually people who like to knit crochet, any sort of fiber art, will design panels or some sort of creative application and then they'll sneak out in the middle of the night and they'll cover up everyday public objects. The key is that it's in a public place and it's always meant to be temporary as well. There's no permanent fasteners used, everything is just tied on relatively loosely so there's no damage done to the trees. You don't have to have any fiber arts experience to get your hands working on a tree. We'll go into your classroom, into your community group, and we'll teach you how to finger knit, which is very simple to do. There's no needles required. Anybody can do it. The campaign has brought together these beginners along with experienced knitters to create these one-of-a-kind installations for Prince George. It also builds a sense of community because it brings all those knitters and crocheters together in a communal effort. I think people are just getting excited about it because it's something fun and different to do and we are approaching it a little bit differently. We're not sneaking out in the middle of the night and uh, doing it incognito but rather we're building this community of people called the Yarn Bomb Squad so there's that sense of belonging too that you know, if you participate you're part of this group. The Yarn Bomb Squad is currently working on a very special project. Well, in celebration of the City of Prince George's 100th anniversary, we took on the challenge of organizing our community to yarn bomb 100 trees in celebration. An interactive Google map is even being set up to tell the story of every tree. So that when the project is near completion, people can actually go online. They can see photos of the trees, stories about the group who put them up and we'll be developing a walking tour and a biking tour of the, the nearby ones to coincide with Kids Art Days. The 100 trees will be complete on July 9th and will stay up throughout the rest of the month. I'm very excited because the public has really, like I said, become excited about it and taken it up. So there are trees just about everywhere. There's some that are going to be hidden sort of off in the bush so you come across them by surprise and there's some up in the heart and some in College Heights and lots downtown and really all over. So I think it's going to be a really interesting experience when you're making your way through town and you're randomly finding these trees all over the place and all these tied together through the one project. To register to yarn bomb your own tree, visit www.tworiversgallery.ca. For Go Prince George, I'm Casey Pitts.